So this is the Ugreen DXP4800 Plus, and it might just be the solution to all my expensive Apple storage problems. Let's ramble. Hold up. Hey guys, so we all know that Apple storage is crazy expensive. I mean, their tiered storage plans feel like an absolute robbery. The base model machines start at a really low internal storage these days. And if you want to upgrade that storage, which a lot of us do, you're looking at a very different price tag. For that reason, I've always been advocating buying the internal storage you absolutely need and using external storage for everything else. I've done several SSD comparison videos on the channel, mainly as a cost-effective alternative to the expensive internal storage. There is one exception for me though, and that is my most recent purchase, the M3 MacBook Pro, which I did max out completely. It's my main workhorse and my video editing computer. Editing does require fast SSDs, and the internal SSDs on this MacBook are really blazing fast, and it's a real treat to edit my videos off of. But this is the first year I've maxed out a machine like that, and only because I finally scraped together the budget to do so. And believe me, it did cost me an arm and a leg. I really don't want or need to do that for all my devices. So yeah. SSDs have been my go-to option, but SSDs can get lost, the storage capacity is always limited, increasing the storage capacity can get quite expensive as well, and if you don't have it with you, well, it's obviously useless because you won't have access to your files. And that is where this guy comes in. This is the DXP4800 Plus, and it's part of Ugreen's latest product line. Now, if you've been to the channel before, you've heard me talk about Ugreen more than once. They're a channel partner, and when they do create new products, they often share them with me for review. They've been putting out really solid products, which you guys also seem to like very much. But until now, it's been mostly charging solutions like GAN chargers, battery banks, and other accessories. This is Ugreen's first foray into NAS systems, and considering they're newcomers in the space, I think they really hit the ground running with this lineup. So let's have a quick look at this thing. I'll show you some of the stuff it can do and how this thing is actually saving me a lot of time, money, and headaches. So just very quickly, in case you're entirely new to NAS systems, NAS stands for Network Attached Storage, and it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's a bunch of storage connected to your network and the internet, of course, which means you can store all of your files and data in one place access it anytime and from anywhere without having to put anything in the cloud. You're basically creating your own cloud of which you have full control. Now, I'm not an IT specialist. I'm an end user just like you guys. And so that's also how I approach these reviews. NAS systems can be a little bit intimidating at first because they can do quite a lot, but trust me, it's a lot easier than it looks. I'm not gonna go into complicated protocols. I won't be modding anything. I just wanna know if it works, what it can do, and how I can use it in my personal workflow. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll know if something like this would also work for you or not. The first thing I immediately noticed taking this thing out of the box is the build quality. This thing is built like a tank. The body is almost entirely made of anodized aluminum and it looks and feels very premium. I've reviewed NAS systems on this channel before and they worked really well, but the build quality is usually kind of plasticky, if you know what I mean. Not this thing, and it does look really great too. I mean, if you plan to put your NAS drive in another room, which you can, looks of course don't matter that much. But if you plan to keep this NAS in your office or even on your desk, it does matter. And well, this thing looks excellent on my desk. The second thing that pleasantly surprised me was how incredibly easy it was to install the drives into the four bays. The NAS systems I've used in the past either required tools and screws to mount the drives, or you had to bend the trays out of shape to get the drives in there. These bays pop right out, the trays slide out, you align the drives, press the tray back in, and boom, all secured. No screws, no tools. Rinse and repeat four times and you're all good to go. I also like that these have a locking system to keep everything in place. It also has two slots for M.2 NVMe drives, which can be used either as cache or extra storage, making the total maximum storage capacity of the DXP4800 Plus a whopping 96 terabytes. Now, of course, it depends on the type of data you plan to store, whether you need that much space. My main purpose will be storing my video projects and because I use 4K footage, storage demands are pretty high. But if it's just files and the occasional video, you're gonna be just fine with a lot less. This review unit was delivered to me with four four terabyte Western Digital Red drives and these are the ones I'm using for this review. I will be swapping them for other drives later on. There are pros and cons to the types of drive you choose and they go hand in hand with your use case and the location of your NAS. These Western Digital Reds 
are not the fastest, but they're very quiet. And judging by the design of this NAS, I believe Ugreen built this thing to be placed on a desk or at least inside the office space. The reason for that is the presence of an SD card slot and other IO on the front of the NAS. That makes it great for offloading video projects directly to the NAS and for connecting other devices such as external SSDs to dump files or footage from those onto the NAS. Now, if you plan to keep this thing on your desk, the Western Digital Reds are a good option. Like I said, they're not the fastest option, but they're very quiet compared to pro or enterprise grade drives. You can increase read and write speeds and overall speeds of the NAS by adding the M.2 storage and setting them as cache memory, which I would always recommend to do. By the way, you can also upgrade the eight gigabytes of DDR5 memory up to 46 gigabytes, which will obviously also help streamline things. Now, pro or enterprise grade HDDs can be a lot faster and usually offer higher storage options, but they are a lot noisier, which might not be ideal for a desktop setup. After having spent some time with this NAS myself, I'm definitely gonna make this my main NAS, and I decided I will upgrade the HDDs to some high capacity Iron Wolf Pro ones and place the NAS out of my office near my internet router. That way I get to enjoy the maximum speed and storage without any noise issues. This way I can really push the device and with its 12th gen five core Intel processor and the 10 gigabit ethernet port, it can definitely be pushed. But even if you're not planning to do any of that, this thing is pretty great out of the box. And since we're looking at this NAS as a solution to buying expensive internal Apple storage, that's all you're gonna need. And from this perspective, the NAS really is a breeze to install and use. Once you've installed the drives, you download the app to your computer, set up the NAS, which is pretty straightforward, choose your RAID configuration and done. The interface is nice and clean. It even feels a bit Apple-y, if you know what I mean. It comes with a couple of apps pre-installed and you can download more apps later on. The storage manager is super easy to use. It offers a nice snapshot of your drives. The file manager is super straightforward as well. You can literally just drag and drop files from your computer to the NAS, or you can mount the NAS as a location in your finder window and save files to it, just like you would to any other location. What I absolutely love though, is that this comes with a mobile app, which works on my iPhone as well as my iPads. And unlike some other mobile versions of NAS apps I've used, this one feels modern and very clean. It really does feel like an Apple app. Searching for files will be made very easy as well, thanks to the integrated AI smart assistant that can search for text within documents, but also for photos of, for instance, pets, fruit, cars, whatever, and will find those photos for you, and all without the need for an internet connection. For my personal use case, which is mainly storage of my video projects, I need to be able to find certain shots within my videos, so I'd need to scrub these videos to find what I need. And that is where the DXP4800 Plus really shines for me, because I can search for a video on my phone remotely, watch it, and even scrub through it, and I don't even need to download it to my phone first. And that's considering that I'm using the Western Digital Red drives and my office has only one gigabits per second ethernet connection. I can only imagine how this thing flies on a 10 gigabit connection. So for me, this thing really feels like the ultimate solution to very expensive internal storage. Yes, you need to buy a NAS and invest in some drives, but that will give you a setup that will be good for many years to come. It will work with all of your devices and all of your files will always be accessible to to you no matter where you are. Currently, Ugreen's NAS systems are available for pre-order on Kickstarter. And I think that's the cool thing about partnerships between brands and creators is that we get to use and test these devices, give our feedback to Ugreen so that they can make sure that the product is absolutely perfect once it starts shipping. The advantage of a Kickstarter campaign for us as users is that you can snag one of these up at a massive discount, you know, as a thank you for being an early buyer. So if you're interested in getting one of these for your own setup, you might wanna consider getting in on that Kickstarter action. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it one of these. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.